Welcome back to another Mind Test and Mod Review. Today we are taking a look at the Automatic Storage and Retrieval System Mod, or ASRS for short. Um, so yeah, basically this mod adds a, um, a representation of a real-world system, um, which is a, it's not a pick and place, which is kind of similar. But it is a uh, actually what it's called, an automated storage and retrieval system. There are several different large manufacturers that produce these, uh, Cardex being one of them. Cardex being the one that this is kind of based off of because that's the one I have some actual personal experience with. Um, so essentially, we have a few things. We'll take a quick look at the recipes here. We have the controller node, which is kind of the brains of everything. This is where you're going to do all of your interactions with the system. So it is crafted with a Mies block, some blue dye, because it has blue paint on it, a steel block, and two lift units. And the lift units we can see here are crafted with eight steel ingots and one Mies crystal in the center. And then the storage cell, which you need these to actually store physical, well, I guess they're not physical because it's a video game, so you need these to store virtual items. Um, and that is crafted with a chest and a Mies crystal, or you can use any group of wood planks and a Mies crystal. I did this because I figured when you're starting off, you're not going to have Mies right away, so you're going to be using a bunch of chests to store your items. But then once you upgrade, well, what are you going to do with all these empty chests? Well, this way you can turn them into storage cells for the system. So, to uh, to use it, you have to place the, the brains of the unit. And then you're going to need to connect a series of lifts and storage cells. So, the center row here is the lifts. And the storage cells just connect to the lifts. And we will notice if I turn on chat here and I try to place a storage cell. It'll tell me it must be placed adjacent to a lift node. I can't place storage cells next to storage cells. And I can't place lift cells next to storage cells. They have to be connected to other lift cells or the controller. And then we can place more of the storage nodes. So let's get into the, the actual controller unit itself. So we right click to open up our inventory which you know is pretty standard. Um, now because I have put on so many storage slots, uh, I do have a quite a quite the large inventory so I can put some sand there, put some chests there. I'll go to the first screen. Let's go ahead and throw this in here. I'm just kind of throwing some things on. So you can see each time we're clicking that we're progressing to a new page. Honestly, I have no no idea how many pages this is. Um, it's oh hey, there's our chest. It's a lot of pages. It means we can store a lot of things, but really, who wants all this stuff mixed up on all these different pages? So let's pull it all together to the first page by just sorting the inventory. And boom, there we are. Everything pulled together onto the first page. It is sorted. Anything stackable is stacked. Very nice. Um, the main inventory screen is the one we are looking at here. We have a settings page. So we can change the name. So I could call this like all my storage. We hit save, we close it, and now our hover text just says all of my storage. And if we are playing on a server, we can grant access to other players by just typing in their names. So we'll go ahead and do Bob and Tom, just because those are the names I always use. You can comma separate if you want. You can, uh, I, I don't know if it actually even has to be separated. Um, there is one caveat to this player access system um, because it's using string find to find the player names. So if the player's name is Bob, uh, no, wait, I took the back. If the player's name is Bobby, right? So we want Bobby to have access. And there's a player named Bob on the server. 
Well, Bob does exist within Bobby. So string find will find Bob in Bobby and will let Bob have access to your system when you don't actually want Bob having access to your system. So that is a, is a shortfall. Um, I should probably find a system to work around that. Um, I guess you just use a protected area and have a locked door so people can't get in. Um, so yeah, that's not 100% perfect. We can sort the system at any time on any page, uh, even though we can't see it. So to prove that that actually works, I don't know why that's a big deal, but hey, look, it sorted it and we weren't on that screen. Woohoo! Debug information, uh, it, it does what you expect, what the label on the tin says. Tells us we have 40 connected nodes, including storage cells and lifts. 13 of 520 slots are filled. And the internal system ID is single player seven. Uh, that I had to add in because there was uh, there was quite the bug that was having issues. So uh, this is just for personal debugging. You can pretty much ignore that screen. We have uh, a help screen, which pretty much just tells you everything that I'm telling you right now. And then we can exit the dialog hitting the exit button here, or the power button rather. Or of course we could just hit the escape key or double click outside of the form spec you know, all kinds of options to escape those. So then we just, oh, I'm in creative, aren't I? Sure am, so that's really not gonna work too well. We just chuck our items in, shift click, works as one would expect. We can shift click things in and out. We can search for things, say we wanna see our sand, here's our sand, I can take my sand nodes, clear the search. We'll see that sand is no longer available here. We can resort it if we want, we don't have to sort it. So we can leave things in whatever order we'd like. If we want to do something like this, we definitely can. Very nice, very nice, right? Um, yeah, so this will work with my test game or anything based on my test game, um, basically using default and die. Um, otherwise, it should also work with mine clone or whatever version of it. Um, I just added support for that, so by the time this video goes live, that should be pushed through onto Content Database. There is also support for limited support for Pipeworks and more full support for Tuckage and Tubelib, which I believe would be Tech Pack, which provides that. Um, I just from testing happen to have all of the Pipeworks stuff still enabled here. So we will go ahead and demo that quickly. So we're gonna have to place a chest, of course. We will need an injector, of course. Um, we're gonna need the interface node here, and I'll put a pipe in. Don't actually need the pipe, I could put the injector directly to this interface node. So um, let's just take a quick look at the interface node. So you're just using a storage cell and a pneumatic tube segment in the case of Pipeworks. If you were using Tuckage, Tuckpack, Tubelib, whatever the other ones are that are supported, you're just using their tube equivalent, same craft recipe, just with their tube. And uh, pretty much, yeah, this is all we do. So we're gonna throw our dirt and our sand in here. Then we're gonna run over here and uh, see that we don't have any dirt or sand in the system right now, which is fantastic. We'll go ahead, clear out this chest, and now we can run back over here we have dirt and sand in the system. Pipework support is limited uh, in that you can only add to the system via Pipeworks. Um, for the most part, you could technically do this, I believe. Um, I think this would work. Yeah. So you can take things out of inventory via Pipeworks. Um, but only from the controller node itself. So this should only take out chests and nothing else. Very nice. So that does work. Uh, pipework support on the controller unit itself will work as I have it placed here in the front. Um, I don't know why it won't because of that. I think it also works from the underside and from the backside at that point. Um, because of the way Pipeworks works, it's just looking at the node. So if we tried to put uh, an injector here to pull out, this node doesn't actually have an inventory. 
so there's no inventory to pull and Pipeworks doesn't let me pass a different inventory to it. So we're kind of stuck with it that way. Um, the other ones that are based on Tubelib, uh, there is a function that is called when the inventory is pulled and every single one of these nodes in its metadata is storing the inventory position of this. So with those, I can essentially pull the position from metadata and then get the inventory reference and pull the items from inventory. So the other systems do work a little better support wise than Pipeworks does, but Pipeworks support is there. The other ones also are uh, able to connect directly to the control unit here as well, but you have uh, a slightly nicer option when you're doing this because then you could have these guys wherever you want all along in your system oh actually you know I have to I have to bridge over that's kinda kinda ugly I should have uh... yeah and this is slightly annoying as well you have to unfortunately break the system in the order it is built for the most part um, just because they're storing children nodes that are next to them. And so this one, in order to make sure that this doesn't become an orphan, I can't allow you to break this one until breaking this one wouldn't cause there to be any orphans. Same thing here. This would become an orphan if I broke this. We have to break that first. So yeah, that's a little thing. Um, also, and I have nowhere near enough inventory where this would become a thing, although I can just do this and it will become a thing. If you break your storage cells, when you get to a certain point, the system will tell you, hey, dum-dum, you can't break that because there's stuff stored in it. So that's good. See, but now if I take these items out, so now there's nothing stored in the system, that node can be broken. And then again, as I had mentioned previously, these do have to be taken down in the reverse order they were placed, for the most part. Because otherwise you end up with a, with a bro broken system, and that ain't no good. So there you have it, the automatic storage and retrieval system mod for mine test. Links will all be on my website, which will be linked down in the description below. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.